back to County Line TV. God, it's been a while. The video stopped like, God, almost two years ago, I think. I don't remember. But I broke my last camera and then I started trying to use my phone. And when I got the S15, I was like, oh, I'm back. You're going to see me again. And then I didn't, I didn't want to use my phone because it was like I used that phone for everything. So like the video clips that I would take would be buried in my gallery before I was able to transfer them to my computer. And it was just a hassle. So I didn't want to do that. So I ended up not posting a lot like I said I was going to. But now I got a new camera. Here's a picture of it. My last camera was a ZV-1. This is a ZV-E10. It's essentially the same one, but this one has removable lenses, which I only did because my last one, the lens succumbed to some welding slag. Anyway, I'm not even gonna try to catch you guys up on everything that's happened in the last couple of years. Uh, we're just gonna pick up from right now. And what we're doing right now is a little bit of everything at the hangar, at the track. We're at the track. I got a hangar down here now. This is mine. Um, and I got this trailer for SMP. Uh, we put a window on the back to sell tickets and merch and stuff out of. That's cool, there's a plane here right now, which this airport usually isn't used for planes. That was the first time I've ever seen that. Well, wow. anyway, uh, distraction. Here's the trailer. That's one of the things we're gonna work on today. We're going to paint this thing black and then put some logos on it with some stencils and stuff. It'll be a recognizable ticket and merch trailer after that. Right now it looks like we're selling freaking snack cakes and stuff. Not the case. Also we got some stuff going on with uh, Michaela's missile car. Um, I'll show you that. If you follow my socials you've seen this thing. We call it Teddy. It's short for tetanus. It's a very rusty car, but it's a missile, and it serves its purpose really well. Uh, working on it right now. Thank you. Uh, he's a radiator. The radiator got trash from some of the safari drives or something. I don't know. Uh, the brake line fittings to the back calipers don't work, so it hasn't had any rear brakes at all for a while. We're going to run the hydro, or the hydro brain, so we just need to change the fittings. We're going to do that today, get it dead. And we're going to put a functioning bucket seat in the front. That way Michaela's not trying to hold herself in the car. She's actually able to steer the car, which hasn't hindered her from being able to drive good, but she'll be better with it. So we're going to do that. And this hose clamp is too small. So yes, it's a huge pain, actually. Huge pain. We might end up having to cut it off and go get a worm clamp. we got some in the truck. Old radiator is out. About to slap a new used one in. That guy there. Uh, I will say this too, something I wanted to touch on. I won't be trying to do like vloggy stuff like I did when I was posting pretty frequently before. It, uh, I would love to do that, but I'm just too busy. So instead, you guys aren't going to get a video until something is like accomplished. There will be some meat in each video, not just potatoes. So look forward to that type of content. So today, uh, this one's not gonna be super meaty, but we are gonna get a big transformation on the trailer. Teddy's gonna be driving again. And then the next video, we're taking this home, we're gonna get to work on it. I will give you guys a pro tip right now. We're putting a radiator in this car because the bottom of the course port is broke out, which is very common in, you can see it on that side there. Uh, that's very common on Z's and G's for the bottom of the course port to get broke out. So, pro tip, the bottom radiator hose will keep the radiator pushed far enough forward, but it won't hold it up. But what you can do is run a zip tie through here and through the fins on your radiator, and that'll keep your radiator held up, and it actually won't cause your radiator to leak. Getting hung, it's the rest of the way in now. It's all ready to go. 
Let me walk around the side of the car here. Boom! Seats in for Michaela. Uh, we're about to get the hydro working. About to pull all this stuff off. The trailer's looking pretty decent. It doesn't have to look great, but it's looking super nice. Better than I expected. Better than I expected, too. Yeah. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. So this is just something that we can expect to see with Michaela filming for us. And it is funny, so I'm here for it. I don't even mind. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I'm just touching up some of the high stuff, painting the trailer. Uh, I put the long bar on. I'm taller than her, so it was easier for me to do it. And it, it turned out okay. These are what were in the caliper with the line kit, but that's not going to work. It wouldn't seal right. Uh, banjo bolts with crush washers is what came off of these calipers. So we bought fittings. Found them. So we got some of these <laughs> so that we can go from A in line to the caliper with like a more factory type look. That's what she's doing right now. She's in. Bow. In there like swimwear. Hey guys, it's a, I'm zoomed in. Hey guys, it's a new day. Tuesday when we were down at the track, it was a little bit chaotic because we were on a huge time constraint that was very important. I couldn't just delay the other things because it was work. But uh, <laughs> we are back at it today. It's actually my birthday, it's Saturday. And uh, I gotta get this trailer hooked up because we're bringing that 15 back with us today. But I said you guys weren't gonna get a video without any meat. So I'm adding this day into that video. That way you don't just get a video full of potatoes and you get to see a finished product of what we were working on. Even though I wasn't filming a whole lot of what we were working on because of that time constraint and I was just trying to get things done as fast as I could. And my whole little team of Michaela and Logan was also just work, work, working. We weren't really thinking a whole lot about filming. We'll do a little better since today we've got all day. We don't have nothing to worry about besides getting Teddy to drive and getting some decals or actually just stenciled paint on the trailer and getting the 15 back, which some parts are here for the 15. So I'm really excited about that. There's more parts still in customs, but some of the parts have already arrived. That's the rig for today. It's my dad's F-350. It's a. Uh, it could probably use some glow plugs. It's a. Uh, it doesn't like to cold start very much, but other than that, solid. She is sporty. Back to the track. Kids are playing, being being good, riding bikes around, and uh, we just got the wheels back on. Teddy, we also got some air in the tire. Some of the tires is flat. Those tires are dead anyway. We need to uh, get some fresh ones on here, but not today because today we're just testing. Gotta go make sure the handbrake works. I pulled it when we got here, and it still has pressure, so it's not. That means it's not leaking, and it doesn't have air in it, and that's sick. So it is time. Go see if it works, and then we'll put harnesses in it. Right now, you're just gonna drive without a harness because we're reckless around here. Driving naked? <laughs> <laughs> Driving naked? I only wish. Really. Huh? Huh? Let's go see if the handbrake works. This thing's been in the car for a while, but hasn't worked yet. Feel good? I mean, there's no harnesses yet. 
it, but yeah, it does. My butt's not moving around. It's a big deal compared to leather seats. Yeah. Uh, leather seats. but the handbrake is working and the car is holding coolant, which last time it was driven, the radiator got busted. So we're doing good. Uh, got to throw harnesses in it, but there's some meat for the video. We got the car working again. It, it functions now. It's getting its first bath in probably years. Definitely since we've had it. But now let's get back to the trailer and put some logos and stuff on it. I just removed the oven. I got a black Sharpie. <laughs> well, that was an epic fail. Ruined that M. Now we're SP drift. Michaela, thank you. Got the rest of this done. Uh, I did the SMP drift. Uh, I fixed the end a little bit anyway. But she did the tickets merchant parts. Looks amazing. I'm stoked about that. So now we just got to get merchant parts in there. Uh, <laughs> we don't have any of that yet, but I'm working on it. I've got an appointment set up with a uh, shirt maker so we can get some stuff done. But anyway, hopefully people know to stop at that now. Let's go. Uh, Let's go load up the old S15, get it ready to go home. Take it back home with us. If you've followed along in the video this long, here's a pro tip from James. 370Z spares clear all, well, I don't want to say all, but at least most like four and six pot uh, front brakes. And they're really skinny, so you can fit on trailers. Whereas most like full angle kit cars don't fit between trailer fender wells, this will make it happen. So. Uh, I have two already, or collectively, we have two already. One's mine, one I think is CJ's. But anyway, we got two to load cars up, so now that I have two, we can, uh, I can make that public and y'all can buy them up. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I had my own before I skyrocketed the price of them because they're really handy. Don't get keeping your secret? Yeah, I don't have to keep that a trade secret anymore. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing on the trailer. y'all didn't see his shirt today this was a gift from justin because it is my birthday happy birthday dirty 30. dead 30. <laughs>
Sylvia's finally coming home for your birthday? Finally. Finally. And the body parts are already starting to show up. Yeah, we got some in the mail today. Some still in customs, but hey, some's here. <laughs> They're stuck in Miami for a minute, but they'll be here eventually. They'll come home soon. Yes. Wonderful but, weather outside for your birthday. It is very nice out. Perfect hey. day to bring the Sylvia home. Perfect day. Honestly, it's a pretty good birthday day. It is. You know what would be also Especially considering it has snowed on my birthday before. Right. You know what would be <laughs> really cool for your birthday too for your dirty 30? What's that? Is if all of your friends bought junker cars and we pulled up to the house and we're gonna have a a fun day on the dirt track for your dirty 30. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I was wondering like whose car is that? And then there's trucks and trailers everywhere? No way, dude! That's why Scott was being all freaking weird about Josh coming to the track. Look at that. Oh my God, dude. No way. <laughs> you didn't think we weren't gonna do something special for your dirty 30. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Oh my God, I love you so much. I love you too. Oh my God. So I was going to end the video as we got home and unloaded the S15 yesterday, but I had a surprise party waiting for me, as you kind of saw. So <laughs> I didn't end the video, but we'll end it now. But I'll show before I end it, I'll show you some aftermath from the surprise party. This was my daily. This was my daily until yesterday. And then uh, Michaela took care of that for me. Um, <laughs> she rammed into the back of an Explorer so hard it blew the back of the window out of the Explorer that's still in the woods back there. I don't know if you'll even be able to... Oh yeah, you can tell it's back there. But, uh, oh, that G35 was pimped too. It's got some big old tires on the back. But as soon as I got here, I tried to open the hood and the grill flew off of my hand. So that just states the way the truck was before anything happened. But then the bumper got pulled off and then crammed back in by the Explorer. It got pulled off because I got this thing stuck. Oh, and Michaela was driving around with the door open and broke the mirror. These were heated mirrors that actually worked, right. too. It still works. It's still plugged in. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I am going to try to plug that tire, and I might still drive this around. Maybe. We'll see. I like driving hoopty sometimes. Oh, CJ left his boots out again. Yeah. The dog's got some new chew toys. My woods car is this red Crown Vic over here that I don't know if you guys have ever seen on the channel. Also, I'm sorry about the wind noise. There's probably some wind noise. It's very windy. But this Crown Vic was my woods car. The back end was mint before yesterday. But I got hit in the butt a couple times. And, uh, God, you can't see anything on this side. It's all just dirt. Thing runs great, actually. I could still start it up right now if I wanted. Hey, there's a shackle. Um, I could still start it up right now. It just got hit in the front, hit in the back, hit a tree. This door panel fell off so the door don't want to shut now because it's in the way. There's another shackle in there. We used a lot of shackles yesterday, but we had a ton of fun. So it was all worth it. And somehow 25 people kept a surprise from me for like two months. I don't know how that works. But if you're this far in the video, like it, comment, and tell me what you want to see in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so James doesn't know this. Since today, we've got all day. We don't have nothing to worry about besides. Today's his birthday, and we have a surprise party waiting for him when we get back. Uh, a bunch of his friends, their own rally cars, and we're gonna have a dirty 30 on the dirt track for his birthday. So trying to get him out of this garage has not been an easy task. So we're trying to hurry. Um, hopefully he doesn't see this before the party, but I'm guessing we're gonna make a dirty 30 video.